Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> where where you? How do I pronounce your name? I'm Jonathan. Um, I'm Samick. Because. Oh. Uh, I know. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm also British, so I, you know, I don't do languages. <laughs> of course, why would you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, un unfortunately, the P is not silent, <laughs> so you have to. Do, you have to Shamek. Like Shamek. Yeah, you can do S H after P. Shamek. Ah, Shamek. Yes, very good. Ah, okay, great, right. <clears throat> All right, so let me see a few minutes. Uh, there's already people in the room. And um, yeah, we had a session from Software AG yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of use cases, quite interesting. Huh? Okay. I should just. We have only one slide for this session as the background, so I'll just I'll just probably share it like this. Um, and so, how does this work? We have this slide in the background, and we just you know. Well, talk, I, I right? think. Yeah, I'll, I'll do an introduction and then we'll just take it from there if you want to use the slide and then, uh, you know, and uh, the whole idea is welcoming our interaction from anyone uh, with any questions, opinions, um, clarifications. Absolutely. So, um, and it's only 25 minutes. So. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I saw some questions in the in the Google Docs document. Yes, yes that's right. Issue. So, uh, how does this work? If if uh, if people don't ask the questions online, are you going to go through the document, or, or how, uh, we, how we, do we do this? We play it by ear. So we already have like uh, ten people in the room. So okay. So, uh, really, it's just uh, encouraging everyone to sort of think about uh, the. Um, the topic mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, encouraging conversation. That's 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 the hope. Okay, good. good. I can talk for hours about API management, so we're good. Okay. All right. Okay, so I think we're ready to start to keep this on, on schedule. So I hope everyone's had a good lunch. Um, so for Software AG, we'll do a brief introduction and um, introduce Chris Shamak, um, who's Senior Director for Product Management um, and the Global Evangelist for um, APIs at Software AG. I, I'm not sure how much introduction Software AG would need being around since 1969. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and even even yesterday, we, we never mind the history. We, we heard the use cases, something like uh, five six five use cases yesterday on how on the API economy across industries. So so very very uh, relevant. Um, today's session is is interactive. Keep on the chat. Interrupt any time. Don't see it as an interruption. Uh, it's a discussion. Uh, Pashamek will be um, sharing his view on why Software AG API has been named the world's best API solution provider in the Forrester Wave uh, study, which I think uh, is on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then we'll link to the uh, the checklist for people when selecting the the API. So, um, Shemek, I see that the topic is top considerations. How many considerations do you plan to go through? Oh, oh my God! Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we you know we could talk for hours. And, and, and yes, you know, the Forrester wave is in the background for this because uh, this is one of the evaluations, the you know, independent evaluations of, of API management technologies in the market. Actually, uh, not only technologies, and this is probably one of the considerations that, you know, when, when people are uh, thinking about embarking on API management program strategy, uh, however they call it, they're, they're not only selecting the technology that will enable them to do this, but also a partner to work with. So it's not the, only the technology you're buying, it is also this, the, the, the company that you're partnering with. So uh, the evaluations such as the Forrester one or, or the Gartner one, they, they actually look at technology, how it is right now. Uh, they also look at, uh, at the vendor, uh, to, to check what the vendor thinks about the market and where the vendor you know plans to go in the market and then about the you know com company uh, as a whole whether the vendor can actually deliver not only on the technology but also on the product on the consulting on the partnership so that would be one of the top considerations that you know um, selecting platforms don't look only at, at your current need and which technology can meet. But also look at you know where your product can evolve in the years to come and see if the selected technology will uh, will support it as well. And then whether whether there is a, a a team from the technology provider to back you up when you with your projects. And that's why the evaluations such as the Forrester one are very valuable because. Uh, Believe me, I've been through this, through this a number of times. They 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 X-ray you. They they RMI you when it comes to you know delivering API management. Uh, they go in nitty gritty details in the platform, but also they do check whether you understand what you're doing. Right? They are not interested in in check box features. They they really check whether you understand what it takes to do API management and help customers. So. Um, definitely use evaluations like this in addition to, you know, checking your criteria. What considerations would come from Forrester or was it like collaboration between the vendors and Forrester? What would you be talking about today in terms of top considerations? Is it their point of view or your point of view? Um, so it, it is both because, you know, Forrester, they, they have their own criteria. Um, how they judge and score companies and, and technologies, but uh, even Forrester themselves, when they when they share the the, the research with with the customers, they acknowledge that you know your criteria may be a bit different, and even if they are the same, that you know the weightage you put to one or the other can be different. So you can adjust it to your needs. So they actually share a very detailed scoring model that that you can you can you know, reshuffle based on 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 your priorities. So it is it is Forrester's or analysts' view on the market from one side, and then you know your view about what is important to you on the other side. So you just um, um, combine them together, and then it, you know um, it. Just, just looking forward, you know, from from my perspective, from my experience working with customers for many years on this, is that the, the number one overlooked or or forgotten question that um, customers can ask vendors is like, all right, we we've, we've gone through an RFP process, maybe we uh, we've gone through a proof of concept as well. But the vendor, what did they forget to ask you? What did they not ask and, and should have, right? Because you now the customers are just starting with API management. It's okay for them to admit that they don't know, uh, you know everything in the market, right? So 
Um, vendors should partner with the customer saying, okay, you know, your, your project starts with this, but you should, you should also think about, you know, A, B, C, and D, right? So your project starts and you, you, have, you want to expose a few APIs externally, but okay, maybe you should think also about internal consumption. Maybe you should think also about, about the governance. Maybe you should, you should think about this. And oh, oh, by the way, microservices are here, right? So just to uh, ask the vendor, what what is the next steps? Okay, we'll do this, but what should I think think next? That is the most overlooked question in my in my opinion. People should be asking this. Okay, so going going to the uh, top considerations when selecting an API vendor, I think you've talked about one, which is about the the ecosystem, the partnership. You know, you're partnering not just on technology capabilities. Um, but on, on other things, uh, can you go into a bit more detail, mm -hmm. you know, to give people in a very short time top tips or how to in terms of top priorities in, in relation to how to choose a partner? Um, so you, you, um, you touched upon a very important um, aspect of APA management, and that is uh, it, it is primarily about the business. You know, um, we're selecting technology, but this is primarily about the business. So uh, that, that's why I said, you know, the, the, the vendor, the partner is important as well. So, um, you know, APA management is is not a new name for SOA or SOA governance. These these exist as well. It's it's not a new name for integration, although these are related. It's it, it's a discipline that you know talks about you know how we do business around um, APIs. In in API management, we treat APIs as products. So we will uh, change our organization also in a way to accommodate this. Meaning we will we will have people wear wear the hat of, a, of an API product manager, right? Uh, and, and these people will mostly recruit from uh, from the you know um, IT organizations or you know architect organizations where, in addition to being developers architects, they will own APIs and they will uh, own them as products and as products manager, which is something close to my heart. The the thing we think most about is, is my customer, right? So it's it's a fundamental sh mindset sh mindset shift, right? We we think about APIs, which are by nature technical, but we treat them as as products, and products have customers. So we first need to understand what are the needs of my customer. Uh, products have uh, roadmaps, so I will need to plan ahead. What do I what do I need to do with my API going forward? What are my customers expecting from me? Or you know, on the flip side, if nobody is using my API, maybe I should retire it. Why, why are we spending cycles of doing this, right? So uh, <clears throat> there's this business aspect of doing API management as well. That is, uh, that is, you know, one of the yeah. top con considerations as well. The technology will enable it, but we need to think about the business side of things. Yeah, so, so, so reading, reading from the slide, I see um, that Forrester was saying that the firm's <laughs> Vision and future investments encompass key business and technical aspects, technology features, including extended ecosystem, um, API product management, and so forth, multi-cloud. So, uh, so I guess that that was one of one of the top exactly <clears throat> one of the top uh, criteria. Is there anything about uh, software AG in particular? Mm -hmm. You know, how is software AG different? Because that's largely what these reports are about: is how do we discern and differentiate? And and they've got a nice chart, eye chart on the screen. It's really small, <laughs> but I see mm -hmm. software AG right up there in the top right. Uh -huh. That's a good place to be, right <laughs> in the top right. So 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 how is software AG? This is, this is a very good uh it's a very good question so yes we are top right we are you know the topmost and the rightmost <laughs> so the, the the way to read this chart is you know uh the uh the horizontal axis is uh is the strategy axis so the the farther to the right you you, you are the 
the stronger your strategy as per Forrester, as, as a vendor providing this technology, and the vertical axis is the current offering. So the, the higher you are, the, the better your current offering. So um, so you should bet on vendors that are you know topmost and rightmost because they are the strongest right now and the strongest the, the you know the strongest bet for uh, for the future. So you know just just by looking at this, we we, we di differ in a way that we are better right now and we will be better in the future as well. But of course. There are many criteria that uh, Forrester evaluates, um, and you know they are deep down into the Forrester wave evaluation, right? They they go through uh, all the possible aspects of uh, of the technology, right? Uh, how do you how do you support this API ecosystems, right? Do you support the uh, API product manager persona? How do you do this, right? And they go deep deep down into things like you know what kind of API types do you do? Can you can you do streaming? Can you do that? You know, very very detailed questions. But and and here there's no there's no single answer for uh, for um, every customer because each each customer will have slightly different uh, uh, project to run and their current needs will be slightly different, right? But um, but if you if you bet on a leader in such a uh, in such an evaluation, you're you're pretty safe. Uh, because leaders will have enough um, enough power in their technology to to do whatever whatever you want, right? Uh, remembering this, the thing I said that you know, um, don't only look at what they do currently. Look also at what they can do um, in the future. So um, we, when it comes to capabilities, we. Uh, we differentiate um, on things like you know security setup of our platform. That is what my customers are telling me that you know they they appreciate the um, you know not not to say that the platform is secure because every API management platform should be secure and most of them are, but to to say that it's an easy and unintrusive setup. That's what customers are telling me that they 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 can make their internal security people happy without having them work too much, right? Um, so so that is one thing. I mean, we 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 can back it up with projects like we have with uh, with the UK Army, Jonathan, which will be really close to your heart. <laughs> these these guys use our platform to you know send army data over the internet. So it pretty much you know it it tells us that it has to be it has to be secure, right? Uh, we are being recognized by our customers for um, very good usability of our platform, right? You know, we are we are in the in the age when people don't like to read documentation too much. I mean, who who, who reads these days, right? So uh, so the expectation is that you know I. I, I start the platform and I just start working and it's kind of intuitive for me and I just do my things and um, I don't need to, you know, do much learning and reading. And, and we're, we're being recognized here uh, by the customers, by the prospects, they, they do appreciate it. Um, and, the, you know, to finish with three maybe, um, I would mention our strong foundation in, in our sister product integration, right? Software AG also offers the integration platform, which, um, you know, with API management, they hold, they go hand in hand. Um, you know, good API management platform requires good integration platform to actually enable the APIs. Uh, and here we have a, a lot of synergies between our integration, which is also the best in the market, by the way. Um, um, we have a lot of synergies, as I said, you know, to 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 build so up the platform. The spot here. I, think, I think it's okay. It's really good that so. Congratulations on getting to this point and having Forrester communicate it. But as I'm speaking to the senior sure. product manager, <laughs> what what's your, what's driving you? What's what's helping you get the right capabilities into this API um, um, management software? Uh, and and. Mm -hmm. And how have you how have you got everyone's back? So mm -hmm. if someone becomes a customer, how are you keeping keeping it going? What what's a product manager's view? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, it's a very good question. And uh, the, the shortest definition of the product management's role that I, that I like, and that's what I usually um, use when defining this to people is, as a product manager, I am the voice of the customer at Software AG, right? I, you know, I do own the product roadmap, but I do not feel the roadmap with my ideas only. I actually go out, meet with the customers, and when I say go out, they actually do go out, right? Um, you know, we, as product managers, we follow the uh, Nihito rule. I mean, this, you know, Americans, they like these abbreviations that sound nice. Nihito rule stands for nothing important happens in the office. Uh, so we, we do go out, we meet our customers uh, to learn what they have done with our platform, uh, whether they're successful or not, what they find missing, uh, uh, what are their plans for the future. And this is our source for, you know, for, for innovation. Uh, right. We're, we're, I mean, as product managers, we're not, we're not the cleverest people on, in the world. We just, we just listen to our customers. Uh, and they tell us what they want, and we just put it on the roadmap. We we prioritize it, we you know we, we we define it further, right? But that is primarily the source of of innovation for our products, and uh, that's as you can see, it's it's paying off, right? <laughs> uh, because it's um, it's not about our opinion only. Of course, yes, we as 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 a vendor, our role, and as a product manager, my role is also to be a few steps ahead of my customers to be able to tell them, you know, what's coming, what maybe you haven't seen this yet, dear customer, but, you know, service mesh is coming, right? Uh, and uh, you may not need it right now, but we as a vendor, we have worked on this already. And, and yesterday, or is it, was it today, um, um, you might have seen Suri's presentation on, on our app mesh, which is you know, an, an API management capability of dealing, dealing with, sub, uh, with service mesh, right? So um, this is one example of where we as product managers, uh, together with our research and development teams, uh, you know, within the, with the organization, we try to be a few steps ahead of the customer to say, these new things are, co are, are coming. We have prepared the platform that you're using for this so that whenever you're ready, you can, you can start using it. Um, so that's how, we, that's how we approach things. You know, on the one side, just, just listen to the customers because they know what they're doing. On the other side, watch out for what's in the market and, and prepare the platform for customers. Okay, thanks for the product ready. manager's perspective. Now with five minutes left in this round table, even though I can't see anybody and you can't see anybody, I guess, uh, we do have the chat here. So, so in the spirit of the customer, you don't have to be a software AG customer, but in, in the spirit of, of anything you want, might want to ask the product manager, of, you know, of, of the leading platform and API management, you know, I, I won't plant any more questions here or ask, address any more questions. If anyone has any questions, the chat is open. So I would just like to, to, to leave that space for people to, to share their opinions. Um, so, so, I mean, you mentioned topics. Yeah, please. Now, I'm just saying, you know, ask me anything. If you're, if you're on this run table, ask me anything. Even if it's not API management, I'll try to answer. Well, <laughs> how to pronounce your name. We've been through that one. Um, <laughs> this could take half an hour to explain, so, yes. So, apart from this round table, there's... There's uh, there's um, other other places that people might reach you. So what's the best way that people from this event could could come up afterwards when the when they start putting their thoughts together and approach approach you directly, or is there is there a way that you would recommend people interact to to learn not just learn more about software AG, but also to interact with with product management as as you say you reach mm -hmm. out to the outside the office, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, well, absolutely. You know, if you don't know us yet, you just start with our softwareg.com website. Uh, you uh, you can reach out to our local office, uh, your closest office. I mean, people here are from all over the place, not not only Singapore, but we do we do have an office in Singapore. So so reach out to our 
uh, our uh, office over there and they will guide you. Um, the, I am always open to people reaching out to me. You know, you, I'm not sure if if, if the atten attendees of, of you know this event will get my email address, but I'm always open open to to this. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter, right? As as a product manager, um, a software AG, um, and especially in API management space, we you know we we do have our presence on GitHub uh, just to you know engage with with develop developers of our platform. We uh, we do have our channel on YouTube. There's many ways you can you can reach out to me directly. In addition to you know, talking to our yes, you know, I see Jessica's in, uh, put her hand up as ever, eager to 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 be be be, be that gateway. So, so thanks, Jessica. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Adil, Adil just okay. pointed out my. Okay. my so I hope everyone photo, takes this so, yeah. opportunity to. I, I think it's a very valuable opportunity. That, that it's great that Forrest has done this work, but it's also about the people behind it. So um, yeah, so we've we've just got a few more minutes left. I mean, um, is, is there anything else you would like to, to talk about in terms of either your role, software AG, or the API economy, or, or your takeaways from this event? Even? I, would, I would like to finish with you know, kind of a call to action. Uh, you know, if, you, if you find you know, this intriguing, interesting, um, you know, if you want to learn more about us, again, reach out to our local team. But uh, also, you can you can take us for a test drive. So, go to softwareag.cloud, and you will simply be able to try our software for free and figure out yourself whether this is something you like. If you if you like to do this on your own laptop, go to Docker Hub and you know. Get our platform to run on, on your laptop. Just just get your hands on it and, and try it, right? And then you can tell me whether Forster was right or not. <laughs> uh, um, we're, 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 we're not shy about that. We we are the leader. Uh, we worked hard for this position. Um, and um, we're ready to prove it to anybody who's who's where would a good starting to point work be? Do you have a pet? product as a product manager where would you say people could get started easy <laughs> uh no you will not get me into selecting you know which which yes. baby you like the most which which child you like the most okay. no no I is, it, is there a place that people <laughs> might start uh, from from looking at the product an, an easy point of starting um it, it really depends on, on who starts. So, you know, there, there will be people who are interested in, in promoting their APIs and, and, and for them, the natural place to start would be, you know, looking at API portals, the variable portals, what, what kind of things they do to help me promote my APIs. You know, we do things like uh, helping people run hack hackathons, beta programs in addition to, 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 to traditional portal stuff, right? But people who recruit themselves from the like, like the you know, inside of the IT shop, they will probably be more interested in in API gateways and micro gateways to to figure out how they can you know shape their their architecture here and you know see what's possible, what's not. So uh, there's probably multiple points of entry depending you know uh, what's what's your interest most you know there will be people who's who are interested in governance so don't tell me about these apis i need to put some governance yeah. around it so what can i do right okay that's great yeah, i see that uh, api percent. management landing page has come up here so that that probably is a, the, the place to go all yep. right we've we've hit the <clears throat> the top end of the round table and sort of respecting that there are other activities events on after this so i'll give you a great thank you Trash prashamek and uh, thank you very much. And, also, and thanks to the audience thank you, for participating. Bye -bye. And I hope the, uh, the event has been useful. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.